Roy Cooper tours some of the hardest hit areas along the coast. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Victoria Bailey. Some roads still underwater with no way into some towns. WCBI Scott Martin spoke with the governor today who says they're still in rescue and recovery mode. Families began to pick up the pieces after devastating flood waters tear through North Carolina. Saturday, Governor Roy Cooper gets a first-hand look at the destruction in Brunswick and Columbus counties. You saw houses and businesses underwater. You saw the Sanford Dam uh, just breached. A week after Hurricane Florence made landfall, water is still rising in some areas. We have 12 river gauges uh, at major flood stage and three more at moderate flood stage. Hundreds of people rescued by boat. Tragically, the death toll now up to 32 after a person was killed while working to remove trees. Many more folks now left without a place to call home. And finding permanent housing is something Governor Cooper says will be challenging. Right after Matthew, the legislature decided to move the community development block grant disaster relief funding from commerce to the Department of Emergency Management, which has really not been used to doing longer term housing. Cooper says he's spoken to the president on the issue and is hoping the president keeps his word when it comes to federal help. But I believe that we can consolidate and if we can get the flexibility and the promises of federal help that we have heard over the last few days, then I think we can make a, a quick recovery. As folks begin to come back home and find a sense of normalcy, many are depending on the help of area charities. Donna Norris says a lot of places just haven't reopened. Just trying to find some food, milk. It's, it's kind of tough right now. Yeah. Several distribution centers are set up across North Carolina where people can come and get things like diapers, soap, dog food, canned food, anything that they might need. And get this, the North Carolina National Guard has helped over 6,000 families. And walk with me here, look at this. The cars, the trucks, they keep lining up here at this distribution center. I mean, yeah. words can't even describe how yeah. much we're thankful. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is, they've been great. Yes. Been great. Reporting in Brunswick County, North Carolina, Scott Martin, WCBI News. Now thousands are still without power. Governor Cooper says Hurricane Florence has brought to his attention the need for infrastructure repairs and more housing in the state.